All right, so if he falls over, we might be able to anchor in and get some, some juice. Hey guys, and welcome back to Terror Attack with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So, finally, it's here. <laughs> they finally uh, released a uh, better future into... Ooh, we're taking quite a bit of damage there. Okay, we have a block in front of us. Uh, they finally released the uh, better future into uh, unstable version of Terror Attack at the moment. Um, and they've also started working on cooperative mode. Now, the only reason I'm not doing cooperative mode is because in cooperative mode, certain things aren't working yet. And so they've, uh, re uh, I guess in cooperative mode, they're not in there. The certain blocks, uh, which seems to be like pretty much like all the conveyor belts, fabricators, stuff like that, right? So <laughs> there's no real point in playing cooperative yet. Uh, also, it seems like they've made cooperative... Uh, well, just that cooperative, right? So you're not going to be fighting against each other. What it sounds like. Uh, obviously, I haven't played it, so I can't say 100%. But from the sounds of it, that's what it is. Like, uh, it more or less, you're building text together. You're building text with friends and stuff like that. But hopefully in the future, there is, you know, a multiplayer version where we can all hunt each other down. <laughs> Which will be, you know, a lot more, well, will be a lot of fun, right? Um, then it'll actually put a lot of our building to the test against, I guess, against each other. Um, flyers will actually be able to have, like, dog fights in the air. Stuff like that. Bill Big techs, I don't know how they'll fare in, in cooperative as they'll be slower, right? But uh, you never know. <laughs> Could be something... It'll be, it'll be interesting for sure, but uh, yeah, so uh, what I've read is that um, we'll get uh, the Better Future Quest line at when we uh, max or when we max out uh, Geocorp Grade 4, so that's what we have to do, and obviously we're starting fresh, fresh here, so it shouldn't, it might take us a little bit of time to get there, but it shouldn't take us too long. It, um, we beeline for it, if we run right for the end goal here, it's gonna take us too long to get there. Uh, yeah. And they did lower, they did add some new sound effects, I got, I don't know if you guys are hearing it when uh, we destroy text. Uh, some of them are kind of loud, and I will keep my, I guess, ears open for them, so that uh, I can reduce the sound need be. Oh yeah, can't attach it to our vehicle yet. Where's our repair bubble? There it is. No, oh, I want to put it there. And... Yes, that's it. Repair us all. Um, come on. Get in there. There we go. <laughs> Apparently a lot of our blocks took a lot of damage. Alright, so something's happening here. This is a delivery crate, but there was quite a, a sound effect to it. Uh, alright. The best wheels for beginners. <laughs> Uh, so far, everything seems to be the same. Nothing too drastic has changed. Other than the sound effects. Alright, there we go. Oh, and I got a stuck. Right off the bat. Alright, let's put some armor on the back of us here, because we do know that the... The AI likes to attack from behind. They do not like to attack from the front. Uh, let's grab some more lasers, because, you know, you can never have enough lasers. I'll put that gun there. Uh, okay. So, uh, what is it? Find a trading station as per usual. There's a trading station right here to the right, but it's telling us to go way over here. But yeah, I'll get us to... Uh, <laughs> uh, started on the Geocorp... Uh, there we go. Uh, Geocorp quest line, and I'll bring you guys back. Big uh, big burner is a thing. It's just not a quest line anymore. Big burner you run into. Um, back when Caratech was early in its ages, or <laughs> yeah, early in the game, big burner was always your very first uh, Geocorp quest, but it's not anymore. What are the... Oh, must have been a quest that I accidentally ran by that we shouldn't have.
interesting because they're that's actually really interesting because they're showing up as being you know kind of friendly to us they are blue but my mind that means they are friendly but I guess not as we can clearly see they're not And there's the the sound effect of something coming in. <laughs> and we got an AI unit. So that works out for us. Is there anything else we want here? I'm just wondering if we should just make a giant block right off the bat. It's a big square block with a million different guns. So I'm just working away at the GeoCorp quest here. And as you guys can see, there's two new blocks that came in. Uh, this one actually kind of looks at least half decently interesting. Be able to make some interesting designs with that. A uh, bunch of curves with connection points. Almost be able to make like a front end loader looking thing, but uh, yeah, so far there's those two parts. Uh, we are only in grade one, and I think I'm just about to build a tech that is straight up just fully uh, Geocorp. Well, not solely Geocorp, but a Geocorp tech. Uh, just because we're going to be going up against a lot of Geocorp techs also. And uh, the harvesting quests for Geocorp are a lot quicker when you actually use Geocorp stuff to do them. So, I'm going to start building. Hopefully I can find some more batteries because I think I only have one at the moment. So, so far I've just gotten to uh, two and a half, uh, which hasn't taken me too, too long. Uh, I did die uh, to one of the Geocorp quests. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, the batteries seem to be very hard to find now. Uh, I've only gotten the one, and then when I died, I respawned. I was just lucky that I respawned and was able to defeat the other two techs that were there. Um, otherwise, I don't think I would be... I'd have a battery at all to use. Um, I don't know if that's intentional, if they're making it harder for us to find batteries or get batteries forgot about that magnet there uh, but yeah it's definitely a, a little bit of a slower go i do like i know it's not a new change but uh it's relatively new ish uh the music that plays when uh when you get close to a certain uh faction or corporation uh knowing which corporation kind of like just even that sound cue you know which one it is um like in a second here, see how the music kind of changed there. Oh yeah, this is not good for us. Nope, not at all. So by running into him, we lost quite a few of our... Well, we lost, I think we lost two of our plasmas. Oh yeah, this is... This is not looking good for us. Eh, I'm not going to collect all those parts. Blah. But that was really disappointing there, losing all the plasma cutters, because they were actually pretty expensive, those two. Uh, but yeah, let's go back to the trading station here. Hopefully we can purchase another battery, because yeah, us running around with just one battery is not a good thing. Alright, so... Power? Nothing. Alright, one bite harvester. Do that, but we're going to have to go looking for another trading station, because this one's obviously no good to us. Let's see what weapons we have available. It's kind of funny, I've gotten two of the Geocorp Anchor Delivery Cannons so far, and the Geocorp Refinery, but I have yet to find any conveyor belts to use. Oh, okay, so now we have two batteries. That'll help. Oops. Oh. Where to put it? I guess we can just put it on top here. Hopefully we don't get hit. Uh, but we still need to go looking for... Another set. Okay, so we have that one. We had the angled uh, plasma cutter before. Alright, fine. We'll go like that. Maybe we should uh, just put this one in storage also. And go with another. Kind of like that. Now, that's, that's kind of the funny thing, too, is that because we're going down a different road here, um, different quest line, stuff like that, I used to, like, when we first, when I first started playing Terratech, I used to use, uh, Geocorp all the time. Then I slowly 
I guess steered myself away from it. And I stopped you like I didn't use it as often, right? But now, uh, coming back to it, it's like, you know, quite a lot of fun building these big, big techs. But yeah, they're big, clumsy, slow, but uh, I, I believe you can start making you know, more agile Geocorp techs. Maybe. There we go. Kind of funny that the uh, cab took longer to destroy than anything else. Uh, I don't know where that uh, shield bubble came from either. Uh, what are we doing here? Plumbite harvester. We need to find another trading station, which shouldn't be too hard. We were close to one to begin with. And plumbite obviously is all... There we go. There's another trading station. But yeah, I've never had that issue where there's been... You know, you've had to wait so long for to find a battery right um because we can't even fabricate yet i guess if we were to do the craft your mic quest which i I, I would assume they'd be available to us if we went down the gso quest line but i have yet to do that i'm having fun yeah just doing the geocorp quest at the moment really i notice they still haven't fixed that though in the game and i don't know if they ever will so as you guys can see, as we get closer, you can see that our tech like vibrating. And I think that's because of the world. They have they put motion to the world, right? So <laughs> it's just you know when you're really, really zoomed up there, it's like in close to your tech, it's really really annoying. All right, let's hope for you know if we can get two or three more batteries, that would be a huge lifesaver. And obviously we need some more quests too, right? Okay, when we're this close, seems like you're kind of moving along pretty good. But when you're this far away, it's like, are we gonna get there today? <laughs> and yeah, see our two batteries didn't even hold up at all. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. Alright, so now we have a battle on our hands. Fortunately, not with the big tech, it's with these tiny ones. Oh, uh, this guy's pretty big, but maybe we can just stay out of range long enough. Nope. Oh, get in there. Alright, so if he falls over, we might be able to anchor in and get some, some juice. Haven't gotten the best weapons yet. We only have two three-pound cannons. Um, and then, obviously, we haven't gotten a SKU or an SCU yet. Uh, this guy has never, never been any good. Like, he's he always falls over. It is an interesting tech, but it's pretty easy to destroy. As you guys can see, the cab is right on the front. We just have to pretty much wait until he falls over. As soon as you knock some of the parts off, he'll never stand up again. And that's the end of them. Alright, so let's grab all these Geocorp parts. We can. We're going to have to build a very large uh, apparatus here. For all of these uh, parts that we have laying around here. I'm glad that the blocks don't disappear as quickly as they used to. Um... But yeah, it really sucks when you don't have an SCU. I don't know what, uh, if uh, Better Future has an SCU. I'm sure they probably do. I don't know what the grab radius on it would be, though. Look at all the buzz saws, heels. Like we hit the mother load here, you guys. Or Geocorp stuff, that is. Getting there. I'm not going to pick up all the guns. That's just not. That's just going to work against us in time. There we go. Alright, let's see what we get here. Oh, I got the rotating uh, anchor block. That's pretty much it. So, so far we've gotten a couple of new items. Uh, nothing too fancy yet. Uh, I'm sure that, well, we know they're coming. It's just, you know, 
we're not working on the proper, I guess, group or corporation to really get fancy stuff, right? I know there is a bunch of new stuff for a Geocorp and I haven't, that I haven't seen, so I'm excited to see it. I'm excited that I didn't kind of spoil it in the, you know, R&D chamber or going into the R&D chamber and spoiling it. But uh, yeah, so we're going to find that all out together. <laughs> but that's going to do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.